Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. So today, we got coffee, vanilla yogurt, ham, and I just fried an egg. I busted the yolk and put ketchup in bread. So fried egg sandwich. And I did the ham in the Insta or, uh, Oh. The fast cooker or whatever there. Oh, I'm just so, so upset today. Bro and his girlfriend got into an... Wow. Well, I wouldn't include him. She was the one who freaked out and done all this shit. I don't know the whole story because I just told him, get rid of her. She's not to broke his TV. I don't know. Glass everywhere, towing glasses at him. And I don't know the story. All I know is what the Fonda told me. You said she was going to be out November 1st. Yeah, that was yesterday. Mm-hmm. I laughed when he... I said, why did you move her in there with you? You know she's a nut. She don't want to have him to have anything. He was worried about his truck, see? He can't have nothing with her. Can't have nothing with her. Anyway, I don't know why he doesn't move back here. She won't follow him here. As soon as his lease up, rent a house or something here. Little one bedroom like what he got, or two bedroom, whatever. That's why he won't buy. He's not going to buy anything in Edmonton. Anyway, get off him. Oh, the other night, <laughs> I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention. When I walked home Halloween night, LaFonda picked me up last night. I get almost to that part I don't like. And I smelled... A skunk. No, I hate to smell that marijuana stuff, but I tell ya, it was so strong, and I had to walk through there, and it's dark, and and uh, and it was so strong that I think that's the first time I said, "I oh, hopefully that's marijuana, and not a real skunk," because I didn't want to get sprayed. I think that's the first time I ever wanted it to be that marijuana stuff oh it's strong I said that gotta be a skunk it smelled like someone was it was so strong standing next to me and mowing it in my face it was so strong She threatened she, his camera equipment and everything. She was going to grab it and pawn it or something. I don't know. That's what the pawn said. And then she walked, talked to him later and I guess she said she put it back downstairs. She's not thinking. He's supporting her. And she wants to screw up his YouTube. She wants to screw up his truck. He drives her everywhere. She don't have a vehicle. Like, if you're going to play stupid. And they watch TV. That, that big 50 inch that he got when he first moved down here. He, he had it all those years. He's been here, what, 9, 10 years? She busted all up, I guess, his television. 
He's busting. I guess he was throwing glasses and. I don't know. He had glass everywhere. I would have called the police and tell child tell them bring child protection because that boy was there. She only wants him for a check. If she was supposed to be out, I said, I said to him, I said, welfare day today. I thought she was supposed to get an apartment. She'll help her. He's going to end up to get rid of her, pay her apartment and damage deposit and everything. I can see it just to get rid of her. But busting up his TV and then was going to take his camera and his video equipment and pawn it. Yeah, she probably did get a welfare check and she it probably, she gambled it. She probably was broke. I would have waited on getting that truck. I would have got her right out of there. Oh. Anyway. She knows when to act up because you couldn't drive away. He was having a few. He wasn't drunk drunk, but he had enough liquor that he wouldn't have been able to buy, drive the truck. She knew it. And that's why I don't deal with her. At all. I'm glad the Fonda got her blanket back. She has three of them that she left over there when she was going back and forth. She steals it. It's a set. It goes to her outfit or her bedding. She, she steals it and took it over to her place. The Fonda found it. Got one back anyway, her big one. It's expensive. Like, she steals. There's something wrong with the girl's head. You gotta get away from her. How, I don't know, but you gotta get away from it. What does she gotta do? She bear maced him in the space. I thought that would have done it. Breaking up his TV. Anyway. I don't trust her with the cat and dog. I really don't. All the stuff he's done for her. He moved her in. Until she found a place. When he told me that, I lied. I said, you're stuck with her now. She's not going to move out of there. No, she's getting a place November 1st. Mm -hmm. I lied. I said, do you think so? She's not paying rent. She's not paying nothing. His phone's already broken. He showed the screen. I said myself, she probably threw it. It just don't break. Brand new phone. Like mine. The screen's already broke. Now, I made a mistake and dropped mine. And I didn't have the right cover in the case. If I would have had this one, it wouldn't have. It's not like I... Look... How many phones have she broken of his? She screwed up his car, scratching it and denting it and driving into things and she's not going to be able to drive that truck. She's run over something. 
for sure. But he'll let her. That big truck. She couldn't even drive a car right. She just don't care. She don't care about him. User. Anyway. I'm just upset today, that's all. I didn't sleep good. I know I tossed and turned. Because, I mean, he works for his money. She don't. He don't have much, but what he has, it's his. And she wants to take everything away from him. I don't like that. I don't know, Fonda, do you want to go there? We called before I left job there. I guess she was outside. Pulling her hair out. We got this, not bad, but <clears throat> this belly club like this long. I was, look, if LaFonda, because I told her when she called me, I said, are we going there after work? Do you want to go there and see what's going on? I was going to bring that with me. I would have probably end up in jail last night. Glad we didn't, because I would have beat the crap right out of her with that thing. She would have been in hospital, and they would have been coming and getting that kid. Send him back to his father, where he belongs. Because she's no mother. Her daughter's with the aunt. Because she was in jail, see? She was in jail for a few years. And the father the, of the boy, he was taking care of him. And the aunt was taking care of the girl. Well, she was in jail with their lesbian friends there. She don't like men. She likes women. Like, why can't he get that in his head? He, he, she don't like him. She's into women. She says she's into both. Bullshit. She, she just uses him. First, he don't have much money. Like, you know. That's his, that's his main job is YouTube. Like, and what he, what he makes, that got to do him the whole month. And then, take care of her ass. Man. I got a few minutes there and then I gotta meet LaFond out there. I gotta text her and see when she's leaving. She works at 10, see, today. She would have worked at 2. We probably would have drove there, but I would have taken that billy club with me. It's a long club. Like an old fashioned, bill. not the short one, like a long one. I would have taken that. I would have came, I would have went out and I wouldn't have said nothing. I would have just went up to her and bunk, knock her right out. And then call the ambulance and then call the cops and say, come get the kid and take her to the hospital. There, she's out. And then I'd go in there and get all her stuff in her clothes. And it'd be waiting outside for her. That's where it would be. But he keeps on taking her back. The cop's not going to do nothing. He keeps on taking her back. I mean, she bear maced him. And she was in jail. She's not supposed to have a weapon. And that's a weapon. I know he can find something better than that. His first girlfriend... They were too young. They were too young, and he wanted to run around and, or with his friends, not on her, but with her his friends, and then she didn't want to go, and da-da-da. He was too young. And then the second girlfriend, because they separated, because she grew up, she wanted to party, da-da-da. She wasn't at home waiting for him at my place. 
while he's out there partying with his boyfriends, his friends. Second one, she liked to party too. They weren't good, they were just parties, they weren't boyfriends, you know. Third one, who's the third one? Oh, that idiot up here too, she was an idiot. She had two kids, or one boy, which the father would take care of and split parenting and anyway, and she was a nut bar. She wasn't in a woman, but she liked he, he was with her for, what, a year or something, that one up here? And then this not. Man. The other one wanted to, we, she wanted two men. She wasn't into women, she was the other way. This one here, she likes women. What in the hell? And his second girlfriend ended up making moves on his first girlfriend and that's why he separated with her. Oh it was a look. Oh my god. <laughs> she remind, he reminds me so much of my dad. That'd be something my dad. That'd be something my dad. Anyway, I don't know. <sighs> he can go with the uh, Maybe later, I don't know if he'll ever grow up, but he needs someone that works and maybe drink once in a while. They go out to a bar once in a while, you know, but stay at home, watch TV. They could do cooking. They could, you know what, do things, go bowling, go, he likes playing pool and whatever. He needs a nice girl. Time to grow up, buddy. Gonna talk about bro day today. Breaking his TV and everything. Gonna get his take his camera, his video camera, his equipment, and she was gonna go pawn it. I guess glasses all over the way. It's throwing glasses at him. Glasses everywhere. What a mess. I wasn't going to be there or go there to be peaceful. If I had to go there last night, it was going to be World War III. It was going to be World War III. She would have been in hospital. Because I would have sucker punched her, like with that thing, because I wouldn't have gave her no warning because she could beat the crap out of me, you know? And I wouldn't want a Fonda to get involved. I would have came right out of that car and I would have ran right up to her and I would have just... She wouldn't have seen the stick. I would have hit it. And I would have got her. And then I would have called the ambulance and then I would have called Child Protection and say, come get this kid. She probably got the keys to his place, of course. I'd get him to change the locks. Miss Christmas, he better not bring her down because she screws everything up. She stays in the... She stays in the bedroom, on the bed all the time. She come in and she stays. That's where, that's where she need to be. But this Christmas, no. I'm, I'm just fed up with her. Like, I'm fed up. Done. If I know she's going over there, I'll just come right back over here. I want nothing to do with her. She's nuts. She's not welcome in the fam family. The Fonda can't stand her. Jenny don't know her. Jenny don't see her, so. Oh, I gotta text La Fonda here. I gotta get something out of the SUV before she goes to work. Anyway, how about that's him? That's him. <laughs> it's 
soon as she bare maced them, she should, he should have re knew then. Like LaFonda said to him, I could get mad at you, I could, and all that, but I would never do something like that, bear mace. I mean, that's a weapon. Not pepper spray, bear, bear mace. That's something that brings down a big bear. Come on. Anyway, I gotta upload this video. Oh, I got sausage. I gotta put Italian sausage and I gotta do uh, mashed potato with, mash up some potatoes with uh, sausage for supper. Do that. I'm running a little late today. Couldn't sleep last night. Don't know what them two bird brains were gonna Knowing her, if he called a cop, she would beat herself up and said he did it, you know. She was out there pulling her hair and everything, I guess. Such a nut bar. She probably was on crack or something. She likes her drugs, I guess. Anyone to act that weird. She must have been taking meth or something. I think what I'm going to do Sunday is do Swedish meatballs and mashed potato. I might do, a set of mashed potatoes, well I've got a lot of potatoes, but I didn't, might do a set of potatoes to mash um, cauliflower. And you do it the same way. You boil it and then you put the butter and all that. And then maybe get a can of cranberry, cranberries. And have the Swedish meatballs. Make the gravy and everything. I think that's what I'm going to do. Now I'll invite LaPonda and Ian over. She works this weekend, so. I have it around 5. 4 or 5, I'll see. 4.30, 5 o'clock. I think that's what I'm going to do. The Swedish meatballs. Now, I looked up the recipe, because Mum always made her own. I'm going to do it the way I remember Mum doing it, but she was pretty close. Because I, I never made Swedish meatballs before. I made meatballs like Italian style and, you know. And everything she put in it, the only thing she didn't put in was a Worcestershire so sauce. And I'm not going to. I'm not going to buy a bottle. Because she never did. And she used to put the little XOX chicken uh, or beef. The XOX beef uh, bouillon cubes. But I got a chunk of it before in my mouth. Sort of like with the, the Lipton's um, box. I get the onion soup mix, but you can get uh, the chicken noodle, and I got a piece of that chunk of yellow. That's why I don't like stove top and all that, or the chicken um, um, Mr. Noodle. I have beef, but I don't like the chicken because of that sauce. So anyway, instead of using the XOX, I'm just going to get the uh, beef broth, like the box. But other than that, she put the soy sauce, she put everything. I think she put, I don't know. I don't think she put Dijon mustard. She put mustard. But I'm going to go, I'm going to get Dijon mustard. She put that in it too, see. But everything else. Now, she put the cream. It was just milk, canned milk, in the uh, little bit with the, the um, cracker crumb, or the panko. And the egg and all that and salt and pepper blah 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 and make the meatball but then afterwards you take them out of the pan you put the butter and all that in there and 
anyways she used to put canned milk in that but it says sour cream so I'm gonna pick up a sour, a sour cream and use that but that's the only really difference that I could see because I remember her making it she fried the onions like to uh not a crisp but she would fry them up until they were nice and soft set them aside and put that in a meatball she did that i remember that i just have to think what she did but when i was reading or looking uh, <clears throat> i went on the shorts and did swedish meatballs and i looked at four or five of them and then i looked up recipes and they were pretty much how she made it and instead of have mashed potato i might do the cauliflower you just boil it like you do potato drain it put your milk or your margarine and and uh put it down and uh, use a potato masher and a little bit of uh, butter and because you're not going to make a night oh and flour see and some puts cornstarch for the swedish meatballs uh but i'm just putting flour that's what she put and a nice thick sauce see and you put the meatballs and then you put the sauce over instead of doing potatoes by cauliflower so i gotta text the call and uh, see what time she's leaving upload the video i don't know where Ian parked it. They're working on the parking lot, so Ian had to park somewhere else. Anyhow, so that's it. So I'll probably make the Swedish meatballs on Sunday. So you guys all have a good day and a cigarette time.